ladies, so today we're gonna to be talking about waist trainers. We're gonna be talking about waist trainers that you can wear under your clothes and also waist trainers that you can work out in. I'm gonna be showing you some really affordable ones from Amazon, so stay tuned. my channel I post health and wellness content workouts also healthy recipes and also reviews so if there's something that you're interested in make sure you subscribe so the last few months I've been going like waist trainer crazy and I bought like four or five different uh, waist trainers <gasps> ones you wear on your clothes ones you can work out in and I have compiled like my best ones that I think are worth your purchase from Amazon, so they're all really, really affordable. I believe all of these were under $30. All right, so let's get to it. So the first two waist trainers that I'm gonna show you are the typical ones you will find, like the ones that you wear under your clothes. More so kind of like, I'm not gonna say corsets, but these are like the, the traditional waist trainers with the steel bones and the hooks, okay? So I have two different ones. This one is like a breathable one, and it has little holes in it. And this one is like more so of like a latex one. So I bought this one first and I thought I lost it. Oh no. I'm about to burn the damn thing. <laughs> Did I burn it? <laughs> Lord about to set my house on fire. No, it's okay. It got it melted a little bit, but it's fine. Anyways, actually that's the candle wax. <laughs> that's just the candle wax, it's fine. Yeah, so, and uh, I thought I lost it, so I bought this one instead, and I actually like this one better, because the, the breathable, like the little holes makes it really like more comfortable to wear all day than wearing this. All right, so let's try this on. Now, I am a small in both of these, but this one is a little bit more tighter than the other one, but they're both a small. This one is a little bit more harder to put on. Okay, so it's a little bit tighter because I put it over my pants. I usually don't put them over my pants, but I'm not trying to show all my goodies on YouTube. But like I said, this is a small, one of the hooks came out too, but that's fine. This is a small and I'm still on the first hook, so I don't even think I can go to the second hook. So if you're like my size, um, right now I'm like 150, 150 pounds, 5'5". Five, five. So if you're kind of around that size, you might want to get a small or if you're any bigger than that you might want to get a medium because as you can see I'm still on the first hook so if you're any bigger than this you might not be able to put a small on okay but these are this one is pretty much the same it's just that this one doesn't have the holes so it's not breathable so let me get a closer so y'all can see so this one doesn't have holes but this one as you can see it has um, little holes in here so it makes it a little bit more breathable. And um, they do, like sometimes, you know, if you got a if you got a butt, it's gonna roll up a little bit. Like sometimes when I'm wearing this, it'll kind of do that thing, but it doesn't really bother me too much. But if you pull it up a little bit, it won't roll up. Like if you have it too low, it'll roll up, but it doesn't bother me too much. So like I said, these two I would typically wear underneath clothing. Sometimes the little buckles do show. If you're wearing like really thick clothing, it doesn't really matter. But if I tried to wear this like under like a bodysuit that was kind of thin and it definitely like showed all the little hooks. So, you know, just be prepared for that. So the next one I'm gonna show you, this is like the first one that I bought and it was mostly just to work out in. I wouldn't really say this is a waist trainer. Uh, it does cinch you in. And it's a little bit more comfortable, but um, it doesn't have any steel bones. So, but it does like gives you a lot of compression. So it definitely gives me a lot of compression when I work out. So when I do work out though, I do use like the sweat cream, but what I do is I put like a sweet, I either put saran wrap or sweet sweat underneath 
the um, waist trainer because you don't want to get all that gunky oil on the actual waist trainer. So either wrap yourself in uh, saran wrap or do the sweet sweat band or even put it over your clothes if you can. Uh, but that's what I do. But yeah, so this one, this one is okay. It's actually the most comfortable for working out, but I don't. it doesn't give you as much compression as the other ones do. And it doesn't come up that high. So if you do have a bigger stomach, this won't work for you. You might want to go ahead and do the, uh, the other one that I'm about to show you. But if you just want like some compression to hold in place, this will work. So this one here, this one here is probably my favorite one to work out in. It does have uh, the waist trainer bones. They're not steel bones though. I believe they are plastic bones. But when you're working out though, for me, I, I can't do like the actual steel bone waist trainer while I'm working out. It's too uncomfortable. So let's try, this one is the easiest to put on. I probably, in this one, I probably could go down to a uh, extra small uh, in this one. Cause it, um, it's starting not to give me that much compression. So if I do purchase this again, I'm gonna go down to an extra small. And um, so this one has a zipper and it also has these to make it tighter. And like I said, this is probably the most comfortable one to wear other than the other one I just showed you. But this one, as you can see, it's a little bit longer. You do get more compression. It does have the bones in here. Uh, just make sure you get the right size. And also with this one, I wear a sweet sweat under this. So I'll put the sweet sweat uh, cream on. Then I'll put the sweet sweat band and then I'll put this over the sweet sweat band. So when you're working out, you're getting the waist training effect and you're also getting the um, the sweat effect of the sweet sweat so i really like this one turn around i like this one and i probably i wear this one the most uh out of all of them like for as far as working out goes so i really do like this one and this, this one is i think it was like 25 dollars. this one was only like 25 dollars, and i've seen other companies sell almost the exact same one i feel like for like 40 50 even 60 70 dollars um, now, I can't compare the two because I haven't bought those, but I feel like this actually, you know, gets the job done well enough. Honestly, I don't really feel like I need to pay $80 for a waist trainer, like when I can get one off Amazon for 25 So, I mean, hey, I ain't knocking nobody hustle, but that's just, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I have one more, I have one more waist trainer to show you. So, the last waist trainer that I have, this is probably the most recent one that I bought. I bought it because I thought it had the uh, the sauna suit uh, material on the inside because that's it, it advertised as a sweat build or whatever like that. But it does it. It has. Um, it doesn't. I don't feel like it does. At least not to the way I feel. But anyway, so it might do. I don't know. Anyway, but it's called Shaper X Fitness, and this is actually comparable to the Kaor. Waist, waist trainer, I think that's what people was I was when I was reading all the reviews on um, Amazon, people kept saying this is just like uh, KOR Fitness uh, waist trainer. And I, and I looked her up and I saw that uh, she did have a waist trainer that costs a lot more than this, and it was looked like the same exact one. But this one is similar to the last one, but it only has uh, one band instead of two. So you can make it tighter. Now these bands aren't really stretchy, so you're not like stretching it out too much, but yeah. So this is the other one. I do like this one, but I still prefer that the last one I showed you, I prefer that one the best uh, as far as waist training goes, but this one is fine too. I do wear the sweet sweat under, underneath this one too, but it's not as long, so sometimes the sweet sweat will poke out, you know, the little bit, the little thing will poke out, but not a big deal. It, does, it doesn't have any steel bones. It has bones in the back, um, but it doesn't have any bones throughout the waist trainer like the other one does, but I believe this one was about $25 or something like that. No more than $25, definitely. 
Yeah, guys, so this is all of my waist trainers so far. Probably about some more. I don't know why I'm just waist training crazy now. But yeah, so if you're looking for some affordable waist trainers, definitely, you know, check out the links in the description. I put all the links to these in the description. Pick whatever one you feel works best for you. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.